cops was pulling out the park a lot from the school because the assistant principal, Mr. Perez, was um, beat, hitting on one of the students because they had a peaceful, peaceful demonstration for what the principal done. And then all of a sudden, cops from Marietta, school board, police city of Miami, Mitchell Day police came out, school beat and, the, and everything was beating on the student because it was caught on camera. And one cop had actually had her gun drawn to the kids and they were slamming parents for coming out here to pick up their students, it, the, their kids really, this, and to see what was going on. And you know these kids cannot go into school with bottles and stuff in their hands. So how did they get hold of bottles, or water bottles or whatever, throwing them at the cops? And cops saying they got hurt, but I don't think so, because everything was caught on camera from the beginning. So what's going to happen now? What do you think will happen? Well, we're trying to get um, the sister principal, Mr. Perez, arrested. He need to be arrested from hitting on this child, because if it was any other school in the white area, it wouldn't have been done like this. Was it a girl like it was a guy that got hit, beaten on by the principal, the assistant principal. So you think the kids should be protesting? Yeah, they need to, to stand up for their, their rights. This is long overdue. They need to have somebody to stand up for them and with them. What about the FCAS? Well, the FCAS thinks this was made up for the black people anyway to fail us and put us in prison. Look at what they do in the third graders. What does FCAT need to be done? We need to stop this FCAT anyway. Because a lot of black kids are failing and a lot of other schools are making good grades for this. This don't make no sense. We need to come out here and look, they need to arrest Perez. See all the signs that they got? Channel 7 going to change all y'all words. They say what they want to put on there. They say, they say we, we animals, we attack the police. And one of them lady said something. One of y'all didn't tell me about the That was me. Channel 7. The police was beating everybody up. Changing people and shit and everything. Miami niggas clicking up, we chutching up on these fuck ass niggas, and we getting too much fucking money for you niggas, nigga. That's Swallow right. that, bitch. It's your boy K to the I to the N to the S to the U, Ken Su, you know who, baby. And I'm chilling with my man Larry Dog. First of all, I want to comment on Jermaine Dupree saying DJs are dead. Now, first of all, Jermaine, I respect you. I respect you to death. If it wasn't for you, a lot of us niggas wouldn't be here, especially down here in the South. But my nigga, you're out of pocket, my nigga, with that bullshit. I know you on the big pop. Big level plateau fucking with Mariah Carey and Janet Jackson and you don't really need the D or you feel like you don't need the DJ. But my nigga, the DJs could never be dead as long as us low life artists is trying to get some of this music industry money and change our lives around. We need a DJ. Two time for the DJ. I love the DJs. Hip hop is alive and the DJs is definitely alive.